All right, what's up everybody? I wanted to start a new type of vlog where I actually take you with when I go out to take photos in the mornings or whenever. And um, so just as a test today, I'm gonna take you along out to my uh, beautiful woods at uh, about nine in the morning. It's pretty crispy out here since it's September. It seems like it's gonna be time to uh, be fall really quick here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna force myself to find something to take a photograph of and uh, I'll share all the settings and everything that I, uh, I use to get those photos and maybe we can have a discussion about it. Um, today I got the 7D Mark II with my 70 to 200 uh, 2.8 we got some nice sunshine through the trees so I'm gonna just walk around here and just see if I can't find anything to photograph <clears throat> and I'll take you along the whole way so let's just keep walking and I'll see what I can find generally out in the woods here if you can't find uh, bugs or something to photograph there's always uh, fungus and different uh, or bark formations that are kind of neat and when the sun hits them just right then uh, yeah, they can make for some neat photographs so I got something in mind that I've seen out here a bunch of different times so I'm just gonna kind of walk over there and keep an eye on things as I go once in a while there's wildlife out here as well but by the time I get back here <clears throat> um, they're pretty skittish and they're long gone by the time I get a chance to photograph them. So I have uh, camel gear that I can wear and come on out here. And uh, I've done that before for turkeys and for uh, deer, but today we're just looking for something to photograph. Looks like quite a bit of spider webs as usual. Usually I. Uh, walk through the woods with a stick so that I'm not uh, going face first into some uh, spider webs. Something moving around over there. Huh, I think I found something. Just a neat little, uh, looks like a puffball mushroom. See that on there? Um, got the sun on it right now, so I'm gonna just get on the ground here and just see if I can't snap a couple photos of it in different ways. The 70 to 200 on there, I gotta step back quite a ways, but with the sun on there, you can't really beat that. So there I had a F5.6 at 50 and the ISO at 200. It's a little dark, so I'm gonna bump the ISO up to 400. There, we got a nice shot, got some nice bulk in the back and in the front. I've never seen a mushroom like that before, so it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna try to get some from, from this angle. Uh, at f2.8 maybe it'll bump that up to 320 uh, one 320th of a second even with an uh, image stabilized lens it holds it pretty nice shouldn't have uh
I'm gonna put the ISO on auto once and just see what it can do. That's quite high. ISO on auto is uh, 2500, so I'm just gonna bump it up to like a thousand. Go off of that. So <clears throat> the sun is kind of rolling around obviously so you don't have a whole lot of time to to get shots with the sun beating down in that one spot so I grabbed a bunch and um, I think we'll be all right it looked like they turned out I uh, it's pretty neat usually I feel pretty confident that when I get to the computer it's a different story but Very interesting. Uh, never seen anything like that before. Wow. Well, I'm assuming it's fungus. I guess it could be uh, some sort of tree seed. So, well, I'm gonna. take a walk back to the house and upload those photos and see what we got. Maybe I can find online what that really is since I'm not 100% sure if it was fungus. <laughs> kind of felt like uh, when I picked it up it kind of felt like a Super Bowl. So <clears throat> it looks like it might have been like a, a tree seed or something else. The thing is we throw a uh, table scraps out here for the critters too and who knows what the heck else uh, the critters bring onto our property so oh here I found another here's some fungus fungus got some sun on it Kind of neat. Small uh, white mushroom with some twigs around it. It's a f4.0 and uh, one two hundredth of a second allows that uh, the sun to really light up the mushroom. Looks pretty cool. Like I said earlier, we'll see what we can do in Lightroom and uh, if we can kind of bring these photos to life, so to speak. So why don't you hang in there? I'm going to show you the video, the photos right after this, and then uh, we can discuss in the comments section what you think, or maybe you can give me some constructive criticism and what you think, and uh, we can go from there. So otherwise, uh, if you like videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Like the thumbs up for uh, my effort since it's my first video and hopefully we can do more of these. I'm going to try doing one of these one per week, um, maybe more if uh, I can get good at it. So see you in the next video.